Well, the recent shooting led to a heated city council meeting last night, and today our Matt Rascone talked to the city council president about that meeting and where we go from here. Mr. Chairman, something is terribly wrong here. There's no easy way forward. People are angry. When responding to violence in the streets. 24 people get shot in one weekend span. That difficulty was on full display at last night's Cleveland City Council meeting. I'm not going to live like this. And I'm not going to ask anyone else in my ward across the city to live like this. Now, there's got to be a game plan. The empty seats in the chamber got the brunt of the attacks. Not a single member of the mayor's office showed up. It is completely unacceptable that we don't have our partners from across the hall. Sometimes you do get passionate. Sometimes you do get frustrated. Council President Blaine Griffin says he's since talked to Mayor Justin Bibb. And both of us are just committed to how we move forward. But it's unclear what that looks like. Since Sunday's shooting that injured nine, seven more people have been shot in Cleveland. At least two have been killed. The incident on West 6 magnified the problem. But look at the carnage every day in this city. Homicides are up nearly 30% in the city compared to this time last year. It's frustrating and as challenging as we are dealing with things right now. This is our city. It is not the city for the criminals. The mayor's office says talks are underway with police unions to improve retention, recruitment, and deployment of officers. And I am tired, I am frustrated that we don't have no plan. But council members say they haven't been invited. Still, they're eager to work with the mayor on a path forward. Every day, every single day, we're looking at what we can do as partners. And just a bit ago, I got a statement from the mayor's office about their meeting with Griffin today. It says, in part, collaboration fosters progress, and progress is what Cleveland needs. We believe that council's stated intentions today are sincere. We stand ready and look forward to working together to create a more positive, solutions-based culture. And the mayor's office told me they didn't have time for an interview today, but they said they are doing everything they can to address crime, investing in technology, police officers, and violence prevention and intervention efforts. Christy? All right. Matt Rascone, we appreciate the update. Thank you.